Even on parole for manslaughter, arrested for the shooting of a Los Angeles sheriff's deputy. Bill Malusian has this story for us. He's live in L.A. Hi, Bill. Zena, good morning to you. This L.A. County Sheriff's deputy is incredibly lucky to be alive. He was sitting at a red light on his motorcycle when he was randomly targeted and shot in his back. Now, thankfully, his bulletproof vest caught the round and saved his life. Here's the radio call he made. Take a look at this. This is a photo of that deputy's vest provided by a law enforcement source showing how he was just inches away from a potentially fatal kill shot to his head and showing how incredibly lucky he was. Investigators say they now have the shooter in custody. He's a known gang member with a violent criminal history. His name is Raimundo Duran. He was arrested by California Highway Patrol hours after the shooting for drunk driving and he had a gun on him. Multiple law enforcement sources tell us he was previously convicted of manslaughter for stabbing a co-worker to death back in 2001 and is a parolee. He was also convicted of felony evading in 2021 after he led police on this pursuit here in L.A. County following a hit and run. But he was out of prison just months later despite already having a strike on his record. Then in 2022, he was convicted of being a felon in possession of a gun, only doing a handful of months behind bars for that. He was also arrested for DUI last October. Now, police say they were able to tie him to this shooting of the deputy via surveillance video, the gun he had on him, and witness statements. The case will now be presented to L.A. County D.A. George Gascon's office for prosecution. At the end of the day, um, I'm very happy that this person is in custody, but I'm even more thankful uh, that Deputy Aspuro is doing well and he's recovering at home. Uh, I made several statements last night and talked about the fact that he was wearing his vest, his bulletproof vest, and we believe it saved his life. Dana, obviously a lot of questions as to how a guy with this sort of criminal history was still out on the streets for this shooting to be able to happen. I reached out to LADA George Gascon's office to ask about their prior prosecution, uh, prosecutions of this man and how they handle, how they plan to handle this case so far, I have not heard back from them. We'll send it back to you. All right, Ben Malusian, stay after it. We'll keep in touch. Thank you. We could get a ruling.